Max semifinals at state wrestling to come this far and not make it to the finals can be gut wrenching for these wrestlers. You may not see more hard on a mat than in these semifinals, but only 84 will go to bed tonight. One win away from being a state champ. Matt McCulloch gets us started with 3A semifinal action. Well, John, here we go. Championship matches are all set in stone for tomorrow night. We had a couple of powerhouses in Class 3A trying to get back in and defend their titles from last year. We'll begin right out of the gates at 120 for the third straight year for Dodge's Drake Ayala is heading back to the championship. He wins by a pin a minute nine into his match. Another wrestler trying to make it back into Saturday's title match. Gabe Christensen of Southeast Polk, the Iowa commit, has no problem. He wins it 12-1. You know, I want to win another state title, and, you know, that was just a step to it, and got a little rough there, you know, but that's all right. That's, I mean, that's kind of the best is when it's a hard-fought match, and he battled, so it was fun, and just looking forward to tomorrow. Boone's Tanner Harvey is kicking it into overdrive this week. The Toreador supplants his name into tomorrow's 182 pound championship with a 5 2 decision. Going to the championships. Oh, this was something I've been thinking about all year long. Ever it's been over a year in the making. Like, I can't thank anybody enough. Of course, we'll have full coverage tomorrow night from the championship matches, so keep it right here on Local 5. For now, John, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Reporting inside Wells Fargo Arena, Matt McCulloch, Local 5 Sports. We are Iowa. Back to you. Thank you, Matt. Over to 2A semifinals. The cheerleaders having some fun before the matches got started. We begin at 106 pounds. Cameron Petsampon from Webster City gets the takedown. He is in the finals with an 11-2 major decision. Just keep it once, uh, one step at a time, one match at a time, and wrestle your heart out. He'll face Green County's McKinley Robbins, who also won with a major 15 to 5. 120 pounds, Colby Lilligard. He's lost back-to-back -back years in the semis. Not this time, a cradle for the pin. He says it's fitting. That felt pretty good. Winning by the fall with cradle. Things I lost last year by fall and cradle and semis. 132 pounds, Caden Kozlerich will wrestle Saturday night for a title as he tops Bryce Hatton. His teammate Nate Genabana is also on to the finals with a close 4-3 decision, but a win is a win. That's a big one for the Centerville Big Reds. Up to 145 pounds, Treston Sales of EBF with the reversal here against North Polk's Chance Bakkenstedt. Sales sailing into the finals with an 8-3 decision. Bounce to 182 pounds, Creston's Jackson Kinsella. Wills his way to the win. Nice take down. He'll face EBF Sage Walker for the title. 220 pounds. Cody Fisher was the first state champ in Woodward Granger history last year. He tried to become the first two-time state champ as he becomes a four-time finalist with the win tonight. Probably won't hit me until this is all said and done. Um, we joined Elite Company, man, but it's not over yet. We still got one more match to go tomorrow night. And I'm just going to do what I do and control the controllables. And 285 pounds, Cade Sutton of ADM and Darren Sesker of Van Meter need the tiebreaker periods to settle it in the fifth. It's Sutton getting a late takedown and the top seed will chase down the championship tomorrow. I mean, it's just pushing the pace. I know my guess thinks better than all these kids. So let's keep pushing the pace, winning that match.